Oh my goodness, walking out of the casino, Taco El Gordo's right there. You see the smoke coming out of that? And you smell all that delicious meat. Luckily, on my way to breakfast. Breakfast today is gonna be something really fun. A four foot dosa. Make room for this skyscraper of a dosa. Thank you. This is truly fit for something made in Las Vegas. It's extravagant, it's beautiful, and it's just ginormous. You gotta back up here on a second. Yeah. Four foot long, freshly made dosa with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, with 16 little platters of sauce and accompany this giant skyscraper of a dosa. There's coconut chutney, potatoes, tomato chutney, lentils, pretty much everything you want to dip this giant dosa in is provided for you. And I really didn't know they made plates like this. I need to get one of these for the house. Let's start from the end here. Dosa, outside texture, really crispy. And that is confirmed. Inside, light and airy, with a nice fermented flavor. Dunk it into the coconut chutney. That is a delicious wake you up kind of bite that I needed this morning. Walking here, smelling the food being cooked along the way. And this dosa, like I said, is crispy, it's super airy. The dipping sauces are delicious and plentiful. I think I especially like the lentils and the potatoes. Dosa is one of my favorite Indian dishes because it doesn't feel heavy going down and it's really just the best part of the bread, right? Every single bite is so crusty and nice, it's a little buttery as well. The texture is the number one thing I love about this dish. Then when you dip into something like the potatoes, you get a nice crunch and the potato gives it such a nice spiced up mushy contrast. And the flavor of the dosa is so deep because the dough is fermented. So you get that nice slightly sour flavor. It's almost like eating a sourdough crepe. And this whole thing definitely enough to feed at least three people. I would say four people can share this and walk out feeling pretty happy. I've eaten a lot already. I think I only finished about 15% of the dosa. You can also do combine the different flavors, coconut chutney with some of the potatoes. Mm. More potatoes and some of the lentil. That is so good. This whole city is kind of about extravagance. Everything is bigger than life. But this place is able to make a gigantic dosa, but actually make it taste good. And that's what I love about it. I mean, this thing is so big, I feel like if I just took this home, I could pretty much use this as a blanket. And this to me is much better than a typical Vegas breakfast buffet. I'm gonna finish my breakfast. See you in a bit. Lunch number two, I am in Northern Las Vegas for some ginormous tacos. This place look amazing. I came here because um, they serve machete. I haven't had one of these since Mexico. A machete. And this thing, tortilla fried on the grill, stuff with a steak, cheese, onions, lettuce, and topped with some cactus. Like I said, just absolutely stuffed with steak. Just like the dosa I had before, it's long, it's giant, and this thing just smells ridiculous. That's delicious. Definitely needs a bit of heat for me. Drizzle some salsa onto the machete. Call it a machete because it looks like a machete. Mm. 
Oh my God, this thing tastes like hellfire. I didn't even put that much on this thing. It feels like a swallow lava in the best way possible. This is not to be trifled with, but this is delicious. Crispy tortilla on the outside, inside layer of melty cheese, submerging all that delicious tender steak. You get a nice crunch, of course, from the tortilla. Also a nice crunch from the onions. This brings back such fond memories. Cactus. Mm. The cactus is nice and crunchy. I just remember this being one of the funnest things and one of the tastiest things I had down in Mexico. Mm. And this restaurant makes such a delicious version of this dish. Also, something I never tried before, a pambazo. Kind of looks like a torta, but it's a fried sandwich smothered in chili sauce. Inside, mashed potatoes, some lettuce, onions. I just like anything that's just smothered in chili sauce. This is an intense dish. Mm. Especially if you dunk into their hellfire salsa. The bread is nice and toasty on the outside, and inside is gooey fried mashed potatoes. And the outside is covered in guajillo chili, which is not all that spicy, but very smoky flavor. So as intimidating as this looks, not that spicy until you put this sauce on here. And then it's just gonna sink its teeth into your throat. Again, in the best way possible. This is delicious. I love this. Of course, it helps that there's tons of butter in here as well. Vegas has some amazing Mexican food. A lot of these really authentic, delicious restaurants are off the strip a little ways. I love visiting places like this. I think last time I came here, I just had some mind-blowing level a million beer and tacos. And then this time, amazing machete and get to try something I never had before. Gotta go find some ice cream after this. Dinner tonight is at an institution. I am at the Golden Steer Steakhouse. This is the oldest steakhouse in all of Las Vegas. Every single booth is dedicated to an icon. There's a booth for John Wayne. There's a booth for right here, the Rat Pack. I see Sinatra's booth on the corner. I'm gonna try out all their classics, including their famous lobster tail and meatballs. And what's special about their meatballs is, oh my goodness. Cut this open and look at how juicy this is. Also, I can already tell this is a tender meatball. Putting a little pressure on the spoon, it cuts right through. Marinara, mozzarella. It's special because the meatball is made using the filet trimming, so. I think that's part of the reason why this thing is so tender and glorious looking. It smells so beefy as well. Whoa. This is the most tender meatballs I've ever had in my life. They taste so unique. Right away you taste how good that beef quality is. When you put that meatball in your mouth, when you push it with your tongue to the roof of your mouth, the whole thing just collapses into this thin little layer of beef and fat and cheese and sauce. Look at that. Simple little push with the fork and it's just crumbles. Dip it into the sauce and cheese. That's a must try when you come here. That's a special meatball. Definitely tastes like something that would come out of a steakhouse. That meat quality is just insane. Pipe in hot rolls. Mm. Usually meatballs you get, they feel like they have some density to it. You know, you eat it, it's pretty heavy. It sits in your stomach. These are so light. This was pretty amazing. So Caesar salad made table side. They are famous for the Caesar salad. Mm. Got a ton of Parmesan cheese. This is an incredible Caesar salad. Usually Caesar salads I've had, very rich, very creamy. This with the oil and vinegar has a nice balance of acid. The Worcestershire sauce and the anchovies add a nice bite of umami as well.
This is one of the most incredible spread I've ever seen at a steakhouse. There's the king crab, two lobsters. I, these are ginormous lobster tails. Of course, a Cheyenne bone-in cowboy steak sliced into three different sections. The fat cap, of course, the fattiest part of the steak. That goes the most marble, my favorite part. And then that nice steak eye. I feel like I'm most mesmerized by the lobster tail here. Beautifully seasoned, freshly cooked. I mean, each one, the size of my palm. I would hate to see the actual lobster swimming towards me. Steak. A little salt and pepper. The fat cap here, nicely seared. This is just all fat. This is a yummy piece, especially if you like beef fat, which I love. This seared is delicious. Each piece perfectly cooked, beautifully tender. Again, a little salt and pepper, only thing that's on this, and that's really all you need. Mm. It is so freaking delicious. Mm. Steak melt in your mouth, tender. Taste that beautiful sear. Every single time you chew, your mouth just fill with the juice of the steak. I love the nice seared piece of fat with a little bit of the meat. That, of course, was all the flavor of the steak is. That bite, pure flavor. Each by pure tenderness, juiciness, flavor. Lobster tail, you can remove it from the shell. Splash of lemon juice. Beautiful, glistening chunks of lobster meat. Season a little bit on top, dunk it back into the butter a little bit. Reapply the shine. Pure natural sweetness. It's tender, it's succulent. I think that's paprika on top gives it a bit of smoky flavor. I don't think I truly had a good lobster tail at a steakhouse before. That's about as good as the steak. This is a true old school surf and turf experience. And we're not done, look at this king crab. Shrizzle, lemon juice all over that. Lobster I love, but king crab is just so, so sweet. Especially if you got these giant ones like they bring out here at this steakhouse. I mean, look at the size of this joint right here. This is where the best meat is, right in the joint. That is just beyond sweet. The crab is seared as well, so you taste that nice smoky flavor and that tender meat. There's also a hint of brininess. It's so hard to decide which is better, lobster or king crab. But I think if you're coming here, gotta get a lobster tail. That's what they're known for. And however good it looks, trust me, it tastes even better. This is such an institution of a restaurant. Everything from the moment you walk through the door to your servers, to the salads, the steak, the seafood, everybody here is so incredible. Incredibly friendly and welcoming. The food is out of this world. Again, such an iconic place. Like I'm sitting at a booth where the Rat Pack's at and all that adds to the appeal of this place. They're not just relying on that. The food is actually delicious. This is a fantastic old school steakhouse experience. If you ever want to experience something like that in Las Vegas, check this place out. The deco pieces, the more marble pieces, those are the best bites. Mm. Forgot about the size. This is their giant baked potato. So what they do is they essentially remove the potato itself from the skin, mash it up, add in some bacon, reload it into the potato, bake it for a second time, and you get this. must try side. Why wouldn't you get this side? There's chives in here as well. You definitely taste the bacon. And the top of the potato is beautifully toasty. I love this so much. Second dish, this is the cream corn. Mmm, no, oh, this tastes like a dessert. That's really sweet, like a tapioca pudding with corn inside. It's not bad. The corn is sweet. I think I'm gonna sip this for the end of my meal.
Finally, for dessert, their signature banana foster. Drizzle over ice cream. Mm. Oh, this is so good. I love caramelized sugar. I love bananas. Full of both of those flavors, including that great aroma from the evaporated liquor. This thing just tastes so refined and sophisticated. It's a perfect ending to this amazing surf and surf meal. Mm.